Hello and welcome to the channel. We are Jim and Sam and this is the show where we like to give you our rating first and then talk about the things we did and did not like about the movie we just saw. Today's movie is Hustlers. Is this JLo's big comeback? Is the movie as good as everyone says it is? Is JLo up for an Oscar? Is it a pass it, wait for, or a see it? Let us know what you thought because we are letting you know what we thought in three, two, one. See, see it. it. I'm surprised you gave it to see it. I didn't think you enjoyed it that much. I did enjoy it that much. You just didn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> it was late. We saw it kind of late last night, so you were kind of tired. I yeah. am shocked how much I actually liked this movie. Not what I was expecting going in. This is much more of a crime story mm -hmm. than it is just what the trailer thought on. It's just almost like a fun movie of tri strippers drugging and stealing and robbing from men. It's so much, fun. <laughs> it's much more than that. <laughs> Hustlers, J Lo's big. I don't know if you want to say it's a comeback. Honestly, she never really won anywhere. But she's this... always in movies. They just all been last like few years. They haven't been good. They haven't done anything. Well, I can't none comment. that I remember. I can't comment on any of them because I haven't seen a movie of hers in forever. But just right up front, let's talk about the things that we liked about the movie. Up front, the cast is. Pretty much pretty top notch. All the acting's really good. I really like Constance Wu's character, Jennifer Lopez. Julia uh, Stiles was pretty good. She was really good. I forgot she was in it. She's not really featured in the trailers, but the first thing that stands out to me was that this movie story is told between two timelines. Mm -hmm. So the movie cuts between, I believe it's 2000 and a 2014 interview that's done with Constance Wu's character. Mm -hmm. And we intercut that, and that's sort of like the narration of the film. And we intercut that with the 2007 story, which we actually see them actually go through the motions of when they're strippers, uh, luring men in, drugging them, running up their credit cards. And it actually worked to great effect for me. I thought it was super fascinating the way they approached it. It's very much kind of like a similar... Uh, a Oh man, I don't say it, say it's as good as this film, but it's almost like a stripper version of the usual usual suspects in the way it's structured. I got it up on the shelf behind me. I know, I, I saw that. It. Where they're interviewing, they're there. interviewing people, and then as they're interviewing people, you are seeing the things play out that they're inter interviewing them about. Oh yeah, I forgot how good that movie is. Oh, the, the usual, usual suspects, suspects is, is great. great. But it's kind of like that, and it's so well paced, and they use the the interview to get in and out of scenes at perfect times that we don't live in one scene for too long. We're not there for too short. And it's like the filmmaker knew like, all right, when I need to get out of the scene, I can just cut back. We'll cut back to the interview and then we'll get out of the scene with the interview and then the interview will carry us on to the next phase. Yeah. The thing that I really liked about this is that they actually take time to set up the characters. So Constance Wu's character is just not I, want, I she's not hollow. She actually has like things that she wants to do. Same thing with Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm. They all have goals and they establish, they take time to establish what these women want to do with their lives. Mm -hmm. So these are all the things that I really liked about the movie. What are some things that you liked about the movie? I actually thought that once it got going, it was very interesting. The actual concept of the story was kind of crazy. It was that like, wow, I can't believe you're doing this, but you're also sucked into it. It was very, it was a very interesting story to watch and have it displayed the way that it displayed. I mean, I was reading about it and the actual story is quite a bit different from what the story is. It was a little bit worse than what it kind of portrayed, but I think that it was, I actually thought that it was just very interesting. Mm -hmm. One of the things, one of the other things that I did like is that the film pretty much encapsulates all the characters into a gray area. It doesn't try to glamorize or make these women out to be like Robin Hood type of characters. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not Robin Hood characters. They stole for themselves. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like they're not like trying to steal from the rich to give to the poor. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's kind of like the trailer. I thought you were saying it was like a Robin Hood story. No. Like what? Where these, it paints these women as they're bad people when they do this stuff. They And what they know what they're doing they know, is they're wrong. They're very... They're very, they, they definitely know what they're doing. And the uh, guys that they do it to, the guys aren't painted as saints or anything. And they're not painted as like the devil that you would think. There's just, it's they're just, just this... I mean, it just starts to roll into like randomness. Like at first, it was very targeted for certain men. And then after a while, it just became very random. So, like, they were drugging men just 
whoever it was, as long as they had nice shoes and a nice <laughs> yeah. suit, like it was, it was just very interesting. Yeah. And then the, the other thing that I liked a lot is that the whole aspect of them drugging men and running up their credit cards when they're drugged doesn't really start to take hold until about halfway through the movie. I want to say we're like an hour into it. And then that storyline happened because they take the first half of the film to actually establish the women, the things that they want to do. And then what actually propels them to do. It emphasizes with the women. It definitely portray to emphasize with the women that are involved. Yeah. It gets you into their headspace a little bit Mm -hmm. so you can understand why they're doing what they're doing. But the big thing that pushes them into actually the, the whole aspect of the drugs it wasn't clear in the trailers, but the stock market crashed. Mm-hmm. So the people that was, as they say in the film, paying them more money than a brain surgeon, those guys all washed up and disappeared because of the stock market crash in 2008. Mm-hmm. So they are pretty much, they still were at least, Constance Wu goes away from the stripping thing for a little bit. Jennifer Lopez still does it, but like the money dries up. And then they're like, when they come back to it, they're like, well, what do we do to make as much money as what we we're making before? And that's when they're like, oh, let's come up with the drugs and let's drug them. And then when they're drugged, we can just, they have this whole thing where they're like, oh, you were just having a good time and you were just spending money. And so they spend like $50,000 on these guys' credit cards over a course of a night. And then they pocket the money for themselves when they spend that 50 grand. Right. I mean, that's the whole purpose of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and that doesn't take hold until like 50 minutes into the film. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was a nice approach. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I thought that that was excellent. Um, like you said, it was a very good setup. And then once the story got rolling, it was very captivating. It was very interesting. And it also goes into how they got caught, which makes it really a full circle story. And it was just a, it was just enjoyable. I actually enjoyed it a lot mm-hmm. more than I thought I was going to. I know there was a little bit of controversy over it, but overall it was fine. Yep. Uh, now let's go on to the things that we didn't like about the film. Uh, I will go ahead and start. The thing that I didn't like is that... It's not that I didn't like it, but I think this will be a hurdle for some people, that the film does take place in this gray area. And while these characters are, yes, likable personalities, you don't really root for them. So you, you, you're not really rooting for them to do what they're doing to the guys. I think you don't root for them because they know so consciously that what they're doing is wrong. Like yeah. They know exactly what they do- they're doing. They know exactly why they're doing it. They know exactly who they're targeting. So it, you can't, you can empathize with them and why they did it. But when they're actually in that mind space of doing it, you're like, this is, this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. So I think that'll be the hurdle for some people because you're watching what are essentially likable personalities, but not very likable people because of what they're doing, do bad things. So that could be a little bit of a hurdle for some people. I didn't mind it so much Mm because I was so captivated by the actual directing and the overall finesse and control that the director had over the picture that that kind of stuff didn't bother me that much. And it's so quickly fast paced that it that stuff, once again, because of how well directed and edited the film is, didn't bother me that much. Mm -hmm. I wish that they would have went a little further with the consequences because that whole section is pretty much glossed over. Well, that's because they didn't have much of a consequence. They got off easily. And then, you I, really wouldn't, unless you read about it. I wouldn't know that by what the what film... What are you talking about? It said at the end what their consequences were when they got caught. It Maybe said, I just don't remember then. Like, yeah, again, they, like they I, I visually got... should have like went into it because this... They didn't. I mean, they they got consequences, but it wasn't like none of them served jail times except for the two women, and that was only on the weekends for a couple months. Yeah, and I think that's just stuff I would have liked to have seen. I think they could have dived a little deeper into like that. into the trial. Whatever happened, I don't know what happened. Like, Again, you're I asking mean, me like the know. stuff that I don't know that happened because it wasn't in the film. No, it wasn't in the film, but it said at the end what happened. <laughs> like it was just a little blurb. It was enough to be like, oh, okay. Well, like I don't think it's as crazy as we think it was when i read the story it seemed like it was you know it, it just kind of was one of those stories that happened and put behind everybody it, no it wasn't a big folk focal, focal point i don't know if that's true or not but i don't think it was a big focus point when it came out when the story broke so i don't know you're right i mean it didn't go into that portion but i think it had so much packed in as part of the story that it didn't have time for that okay that's my thought 
Uh, there was also one scene that wasn't needed with a pop star that comes into the strip club, which seemed super random. Oh, uh, that just, was kind of random. It felt like it was uh, Jennifer Lopez kind of pulling some strings with her uh, music credibility. Being like, hey, want to come like hang out with me on a movie set and we'll film a scene? I don't know. Maybe that really happened, though. Maybe. No, maybe it did. I don't really know, but it just seemed like it didn't do anything for the movie. It didn't, maybe it was an usher. Maybe it was somebody else. It didn't add anything. It was a completely random. It I, was it, quick. It wasn't. That yeah, I know, but it was still just like, ah, is this really needed? But that's really. Those are my only real complaints about the film. Yeah, I don't really have too many complaints. I think that it was. I thought that I thought that it was a good film. mm Hmm. That's all it is. That's all I have. So that's it for me. That's it for me. Okay, that is it for us. Did you see Hustlers yet? If so, what did you think? Uh, Are you as high on it as everybody else? And if you're not, uh, let us know why. All right. So, not sure what's coming out next week. Oh, Ad Astra next week. We got that. So, we'll see Ad Astra next week, and we'll have that review up next weekend. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next time.